Hello guys, you're welcome to Photographics Academy. All right, so just give me a minute to reset this. Okay, beautiful. So we'll have it on a full screen. So today I'm going to be showing you exactly the breakdown on how we were able to achieve this result, just transforming this image from something this flat and not really interesting to this amazing retouching that you have right here. Not really, we didn't retouch it actually. We just changed the manipulation, changed the backdrop and all of that. But I'm going to be giving you a walkthrough on how we're able to do it. So we'll be having a breakdown in this particular section. So the first thing I did, I'm going to be hiding all of this here. So the first thing I did was to separate the image from the background. So I think I'm going to hide this here. Beautiful. So the first thing I did was to cut out the image from the background. So after cutting it out, the image from the background, then we introduced a solid color adjustment layer, which is something very similar to the clothing she's wearing so that we can build on it and have our manipulations work on it. So the moment we are done with that, we introduced our shadows to give it a very realistic feel. So we needed her to come back to the floor where she was when we started. So we introduced some parts of the image with the shadows and all of that. So immediately after that, we had to now bring in the main uh, background. And before I forget, you are getting every single uh, Every single asset used for this particular video, you are getting it for free. So if you notice one particular thing about the background, you will notice that it was slashed into two. So the reason we did that was because we didn't need the floor of the background. We just needed the upper part to give us that base, to give us that background. Then we used the original floor of the, uh, of the image which we created, restoring our shadow and introducing our object back here, something like that. So. We needed just this background for here. That was why you saw it slashed. And the moment we did that, we noticed that there are some imperfections around the image, like some areas that we are not looking realistic. So we had to balance up some things. Like for example, what she's holding in her hand needed to have a pinkish tone to it. So we needed to hew it towards that pinkish tone so that it looked very uniform. Then we of course introduced some solid color into her skin tone just to even things out using the first one as color and the second one as soft light if you've been following this channel for some time you must have been very familiar with that process right now because we do it a lot of a, a lot in this channel so the next thing we did was to tone down the overall uh, hue of the solid of the background we have down here yeah this background so we needed to have something that brings it all together that makes it look more like a pinkish stone so we needed to do that that was how we introduced this hue and saturation just to bring things closer to each other so when we did that we noticed that this particular area wasn't blending properly into the background so we had to manually okay so this wasn't it i think i'm slightly ahead of time ahead of myself so we had to manually paint it in look at the edges of the dress so sometimes in your uh, manipulation if you start getting uh stuck in a way that you can't go back you can actually just introduce a new layer and just use brush to paint it in and it will still look very much realistic so we added a clock yeah just a clock from one of the backgrounds you also will be getting for free this is called an asset so we added the clock in front of her before we started building the overlay so after that we made some little uh gradient lightning look at it so we introduced few little gradient lightning just towards the upper part and the lower part the reason for this is to prepare the image for the background we are going to for the overlays rather we're going to be placing on it so from here we that we brightened sorry the skin tone just to make her pop out a little more from the background and we started introducing the little little uh overlays that we used to give the effect you saw generally so this was the fog on the re on the left hand we introduced this using our mask to paint and hide some areas this is the fog without the mask so see the way it's distracting and all of that so we needed to use the mask to paint it and put it in check so we introduced the second one which is this one over here this is it without a mask so we needed to use our mask to paint it in so sometimes when you are doing your manipulation always use your brush at low CO, low flow or opacity to just make some certain changes 
when you have these things too much in your image, it can be very distracting. But if you have it moderately, trust me, it is a very beautiful thing to have in your image. Then we introduced something else that looks like sparkles. So all we did was just to bring in another another uh, fog or another smoke overlay down here. Then we change the blend mode to dissolve so that it can give us that that little little dots of sparkles that you are seeing in the image right now. So after that, we introduced another fog that covered the sparkle in a way that it looks like there is smoke on the floor. So after doing that, we introduce another one that is just right here. We introduce another one that is just right here. Look at that one over there. All this is just to bring in elements and make the picture pop out and have a very good feel at the end of the day. Then we introduce the one you are seeing right above her. This one over here. We introduced it right in the image. Took our time to even get more in. Look at this one. So we brought this one in. This is how we layered up all the overlays you are looking at in the image that made it look like she's in a cloudy situation and all of that. This was how we layered all of them up in the image. So we created the, the very last one that formed more like a circular shape just to bring everything together and make her gown fit into the design. Look at it, beautiful. So after doing that, we did a global color grading that gave us, and to, to do global color grading, we just used our photo filter, changed it to cooling filter, and it gave us a very nice cooling effect. Then we did the last thing, which is our color lookup, and that was how we were able to achieve this amazing result, to achieve this amazing retouching that you are seeing right here. So this was before, this is after, of course, we need to off this. So this was the image when we came into Photoshop, we were able to create it into something this amazing right here. So one more thing before I forget, you are getting every single background, every single asset, every single overlay we used for this image, you are getting it for free. Just go to the description in the comment section and you will see the link to download the file for your own personal use. Make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this amazing video. Make sure your notification bell is turned on so that you get notified every single time we drop a new video. See you on the next one.